Hey there YouTube, here to learn 442 with another video for you today. This one uh, is going to be about upper receivers, forgings, and their marks. Um, I know you guys haven't seen this scope or this stock mounted on this AR before and we'll talk about that later uh, in another video. Um, or you'll just see them in action maybe in another video. But anyway, I saw another video today about upper receivers and forging marks. And uh, <clears throat> I think there's a little bit of confusion. People seem to think that the forge marks uh, mean that that forge or that forging company not only forged the blank, but also did the machining on that forged upper receiver and that's not true the forging mark really just means that that forge made the forged blank for that upper receiver it was then milled by the uh, and the company that's going to be using it um, or someone that they've sent it out to now there are a lot of different forge companies um, one of the best known is Cerro Forge, which is what my upper is. That's the company that forged my upper receiver. So we can see right here behind the shell deflector that keyhole mark. That keyhole designates this as a Cerro Forge forged receiver. Now, when they forge these receivers, like I said, it's a blank. It needs to be milled out so it can be used in the firearm and uh, you know in, in uh, that machining process the companies put their own marks a lot of times on the upper receiver after they've machined it and uh, a lot of people seem to not realize this and where that marking can be found is on the back of the rear takedown lug so I'm going to attempt to show this to you, although I've had a little bit of problems with my lighting. Uh, we'll see what we can do, see if you can get a decent look at it. Now a lot of the companies, or a lot of the markings, it's hard to find information as to what company did it. I know LMT uses Seroforge, Colt uses Seroforge, Knight's Armament, maker of the SR-25, and the M110 SAS, or semi-auto sniper system, uh, they use Seroforge. Uh, I know LMT puts an L on the back, takedown lug. Um, however, mine is not from LMT. And I'm gonna try and get some decent enough lighting here that you can maybe see that mark. Kind of difficult to see here, but it is right there. If this would focus up for me, that would be great. Come on camera, focus up. Anyway, that marking, if you can see it all right, is a chevron with a line under it. Now, a chevron is just a triangle missing the bottom line. And then, you know, this has a line that's disconnected that's underneath it. Maybe you can see it a little better there. Anyway, I cannot find information as to who machined this upper receiver after it was forged by Seroforge, but the forging quality is quite high and the machining quality is excellent in my opinion. Um, I've had absolutely no problems with this upper receiver and uh, I hope that that helps you guys a little bit. Um, if your upper receiver is a Cerro Forge upper receiver and it is machined out by LMT, I know, which is Lewis Machine Tool. Um, I know that they put an L on the rear of that rear takedown lug. Uh, other companies use different letters. 
uh, I think YHM makes some, um, and I believe that they put a Y on the back of that rear takedown lug. Um, I'm not positive about that. I'd have to double check. But, um, you know, just because you have an upper that's forged by one company or another, has the forging mark, you know, even if it's this awesome forging uh, company like Cero, um, or one of the many others, um, you know, that doesn't mean that they machined it. They just forged the blank. Um, it was then sent out to the other company, you know, whether it be Colt or LMT or whoever it is for final machining to put the upper into production. So, um, beyond just who forged your upper receiver, you might want to look at that rear takedown lug and try and figure out who machined your upper receiver. Um, that's not to say that, uh, you know, a cheapo company is going to be using a, or machining a Cero forge upper receiver, as I believe that, uh, you know, the cheaper companies tend to use cheaper forgings and, uh, you know, you likely will not see a Cero forged upper receiver from a really cheapo company. I doubt you're going to find a milled Cero forge upper receiver for, you know, 60, 70, 80, 90 bucks. Um, it's possible. You might be able to find one. And I'm talking about new, not used, obviously. Um, you may be able to find them, but I would question whether or not uh, it is a real Cero forged upper. Definitely look for that forging mark, the keyhole, if you're looking for a Cero upper. Um, there's uh, other companies, that some of them use letter designations, some of them use other um, uh, other forms, like uh, one company uses a square, I believe. Um, Colt has been known to use a C. Um, and I think that's on the back of the, the takedown lug that they use, that C. Uh, once again, I'm not positive about that. I'd have to look. I know that this is not a Colt upper receiver. However, if anybody does know what that chevron with the line under it means, um, you know, what, what manufacturer um, machined this upper receiver, please leave it in the comments below. I hope this video was informative and you learned a little bit and um, you know if you liked the video please press the like button uh, subscribe to my channel if you would uh, I appreciate it greatly when I get new subscribers and uh, there will be a lot more videos about firearms firearms related products blades outdoor equipment and um, just uh, general outdoor videos coming up uh, in the near future. So uh, as always, keep learning, share your knowledge, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video.